Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Becky. Today's video is a clean, decorate, declutter, and organize. It's a little twist on your typical clean and decorate simply because I have two kids, three animals, and we're expecting our third baby in June 2021. So my house is always a disaster. We're going to be going through, picking up some things, doing some light decluttering, and decorating for Christmas. I'll also be including a super delicious recipe a little bit later on, and I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So if you enjoy cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating, and the occasional home makeover, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. We'll be staying in the main area of my home today. I have lots of decorations. I actually have a haul to share with you from Hobby Lobby. I got way too many decorations, but they'll all be put to good use and I can use them year after year. I can't wait to share them with you. I feel like I'm just a little bit late to the YouTube decorating game. However, we always decorate the week of Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, my husband and kids put up our Christmas tree and put all of our ornaments on. It's just a special thing we do so I will not be putting up a Christmas tree in today's video because you can see that is already done. When we put our Christmas tree in this corner we did have to rearrange a few things and I thought it looked so cluttered so I really wanted to declutter the area, move this table out of the way, move the tree over a little bit, and just really clean it up, declutter, and organize. Let me know in the comments do you guys have a beautiful aesthetically pleasing Christmas tree with matching bulbs and all of that stuff or do you have a Christmas tree that looks similar to mine with lots of special but mismatched ornaments. As much as I'd love an aesthetically pleasing Christmas tree, I do love all of the memories that are on my tree. All of my ornaments are dated from when we got them, who they were for, and looking at them, and even having my kids look at them and ask questions who they were from. Some of them have pictures and they ask who it is, and all of that good stuff, and I just love that. It makes my heart so happy. When I'm cleaning with my kids around, I always have some music playing. It just helps keep them occupied. As you can see, they're having so much fun dancing around, jumping on the couch, listening to the music. Just you and nobody else. It's so good to see you again. This is a space in my home that desperately needed to be decluttered. Whether it's my kids pulling the shoes off the shoe rack or us just throwing them back in the closet, I really needed to get this sorted and organized and get rid of any shoes that we didn't need anymore or that didn't fit or that really just needed to be tossed. It used to be very difficult for me to go through things and actually discard and donate things. Apparently I have some kind of weird attachment, but I am getting so much better at just looking at something and quickly deciding whether we're going to keep it or not. Let me know in the comments if you have that same problem where it's just hard to get rid of things. After putting all the shoes away, I did end up getting rid of a few, even the ones that I still liked but I haven't worn in a couple years. You saw me pack away some boots. I love these boots that I got, but I literally never wear them. Especially as a stay-at-home mom now, I really don't find the need to wear certain types of shoes, and if I ever do see the need again, there's no reason I can't go out and purchase new ones. Wait another year 
Just talking on the phone I'll make you feel at home if you've been around a while, you know my kitchen is always a disaster. It's not very big, I don't have a lot of counter space, and the kitchen is the heart of the home, so we are always in here cooking meals, doing dishes, anything you can imagine. My kids always want some snacks, so we're just in there making messes in general, and sometimes it's hard to keep up, especially with a small kitchen, I feel. You'd think it would be opposite and a small kitchen would be easier to clean, however, you take out like five things and your kitchen is already a disaster. With a bigger kitchen, I feel like those things are more spread out, so it doesn't look so messy. Regardless, we're gonna clean up in here and then start some dinner. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely cannot cook in a messy kitchen. Everything would be all over the place and I'm making more dirty dishes, so I have got to clean before I cook. Let me know in the comments if you're the same way. Just wanna have a holiday, yeah. Yeah. Let's have a jolly holiday. We have been setting our paper towel on our counter for far too long, so I finally got a paper towel holder and I'm so excited about it. I also got some salt and pepper shakers. I love them. They're like little mason jars. They look so cute and they are totally my style. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times One thing I'm not doing before dinner is washing dishes. I just don't have time for that right now, so after dinner we'll get them done. Having a good, good time. It's time to take a quick break from cleaning and start cooking dinner. As I mentioned, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers mouth-watering seasonal recipes and fresh, pre-prepared ingredients delivered right to your door. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. I let my husband pick which meal we should eat tonight and he chose the tostadas. They look absolutely delicious. As you guys know, I don't normally eat meat, however, after getting pregnant, meat seems to be something I'm really craving and I'm not going to deprive my body of what it's asking for. As you can see, everything you need comes pre-prepared, it's wholesome, delicious meals delivered right to your door. In my opinion, the best thing about HelloFresh is that it saves time and cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and get a dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. This is a great thing, especially for a busy mom like myself, I've been cleaning all day, we have tons of decorating to do, we have a busy day ahead of us, and this meal only took me 30 minutes to make. It was so easy and convenient. I can honestly say this recipe was so delicious. There's something for everyone at HelloFresh, including low calorie, vegetarian, and kid friendly recipes every single week. Two of my favorite things about HelloFresh is it helps you eat more sustainably. Because of the pre-portioned food, it means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. And also, I love that HelloFresh is committed to giving back. HelloFresh donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019 and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. HelloFresh has been amazing for our family, especially on those super busy days. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code BeckyMoss90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Again, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video.
Yes, I am on my way. While my husband cleans up from dinner and cleans up the kitchen, we're gonna go through the Hobby Lobby haul. There's clearly a ton of things here, so we're just gonna go through it really quickly. I'm not gonna talk about each thing because you can clearly see what it is. When I went to Hobby Lobby about a week and a half ago, all of the Christmas decor was 60% off. The store was so crowded and so many things were sold out, but I love everything I got. One thing about me you may or may not know is that I think I am one of the worst interior designers, decorators there is. I try my hardest, but I'm never super pleased with how it turns out, so if you guys have any suggestions throughout this video of changes that you would make, let me know in the comments below. I did go into Hobby Lobby with a plan of all of the areas I wanted to decorate and kind of what I wanted them to look like, so I wasn't just going off nothing and buying miscellaneous things, but I still feel like as I was decorating, everything was a bit chaotic. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. I wanted to show you these ornaments compared to the other ones that I got. I got these specifically for my kitchen cabinets. If you saw my fall clean and decorate, you probably have an idea of what I'm talking about. The decorations I chose for fall were very clinky up against my kitchen cabinets and they were so annoying. So after picking out these snowflake ones, I also picked up these cute little wreaths and these ones won't make noise. So I will definitely be using these instead of the galvanized snowflakes, but I still thought they were really cute and definitely could find some uses for them. Now 
now that we're done with the Hobby Lobby haul, it's time to finally start decorating. We're starting in my kitchen, and I specifically got this snowman for this spot. I thought the space was 18 inches. I checked the height of the snowman, but it's not. I was so disappointed. So I had to improvise and ended up liking the space anyway. I've heard them before Sending a message That Christmas is at the door I've been waiting by the phone And there is nothing we can do This Christmas will be some I apologize for the lighting right here. We had our first pretty heavy snow and it makes for a really bright background, but I couldn't shut the blinds because then the decorations wouldn't fit on the windowsill, so I just went with it. Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Moving into the kids' play area, we're just going to clean up a bit and then we're going to start decorating.
I really didn't want to put holes in my wall to hang this sign, so I ended up putting some jute twine on it, and I planned on using this mini command strip, however, it's the smallest one, and I wasn't sure if it would hold the weight of the sign, and it did end up falling, but I was able to put two of the command strips up, and it did end up holding. I had no idea how long it took to fluff garland and wreaths and all of that stuff. It took me forever and I had six of them. I still have yet to use two because one is for my bedroom and the other one is for another area in my house, I think my bathroom. But even fluffing just four of them seemed to have taken forever. It's So I got this natural colored tree skirt and honestly I'm not too happy about it. I've seen a lot of people using a tree collar, whether it's a wicker one or a galvanized one. I love that look. If you think one of those would look better, let me know in the comments below. I apparently wasn't thinking at all when I put these wreaths on my bypass barn doors because they are bypass and every time you open one of the doors it runs right into the wreath. I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on pregnancy brain. <laughs> This tray is definitely one of the things I'm not too happy with how it came out. Simply because I wasn't exactly sure what to do with it, I had a thought in mind and this was definitely not it, so if you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. I love my tiered galvanized stand, but I feel like every time I decorate it, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, just doing whatever I think looks nice, and I think this turned out pretty well. Among all the tints 
I'm so happy with how everything turned out. One thing that didn't get here in time was my red pillow covers and I know that would make such a huge difference. They won't be arriving for another week or so. I also still have to decorate my bathroom and master bedroom so I'll make sure to include the pillows and all of the remaining decorations in my next video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it gave you tons of motivation and gave you some holiday cheer, maybe even some decorating ideas. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Don't forget to go to HelloFresh.com and and use my code BeckyMoss90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Again, thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video.